10 plays, Charlie. That's three big plays, seven average plays. This for the Bengals and Bruce Coslett is a defining play. Right side, play action, fake throw, end zone flag. This one with two flags needs to be sorted out. Holding against Cincinnati. Kijana Carter really carries out a fake well. It was such a good oh. fake, he'd have walked in if they'd yes. have given him the ball. Yes. There are two fouls by the offense. Holding number 65, that foul is declined, and a chop block by the center. That foul is accepted, 15 yards, fourth down. Explain a chop block by a center. Well, a chop block is when a defensive lineman is engaged, and then you get a chop block. I don't believe it was the center, Brill, 65, as they call for that, that chop the block. Guard. It was Bram, 74. As the man was engaged with Brills, the center, Bram came in and chopped down at the knees. Pelfrey ended the game two weeks ago as the all-time percentage leader as a place kicker. And four straight, as you see there, Charlie, he's missed. Including a 56-yarder in this ball game. This one from 33 yards away. To break the tie. Flag is flying through the uprights. Kick is good. If it stands, two flags are down. We're going to have motion on the Bengals line. Before the snap, there was a false start on the offense. Number 60, five yards. Left tackle, oh. number 60, Rod Jones. Rod Jones, right here from the top, number 60. Watch his flinch. The flinch move inside and the twitch on the offensive side. Defining moments, Charlie, define in both directions. It becomes a 38-yard field goal attempt to break the tie. Bad snap, nice recovery by the hole. Lee Johnson. Makes the whole recovery. The kick is good from 38 yards away. Cincinnati regains the lead. They're up by three. 17-14 with 8.24 left to go. We're in the third quarter. Well, Bruce Cossett and the Bengals just went from an oh yay situation to an OK situation. The guys come off the sideline here. Cossett talks to Willie Anderson, his young offensive tackle, and says, OK, it's all right. We got some points. But watch the job that Lee Johnson does. Little hitch in his get along as he put it put it down. All of the exchange problem that ruined the game for the Eagles last week against the Dallas Cowboys, but his punter has done it. He's gotten his points. A little bit of disappointment, but a coach can't let that show. He's got to say, "Hey, we scored on him in mile high." Program note on NBC. On NBC Premier Wednesday, it's third rock from the Sean, from the sun. It's a shocker. Who's this? Your new wife. My wife. Hi, honey. I'm home. <laughs> it's Roseanne, Dick's new wife, on the one-hour season premiere of Third Rock this Wednesday on NBC. Whoa. It's like telling Shanahan that you're his new quarterback, Joe. <laughs> Here's the kick returned by Juan Ebra. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Check out the ticker at home. Denver now will move on offense with 8-14. That is the time remaining after the third quarter. Remember what defined this Denver offense in the first half. John Elway initially taking the big hits. What does Mike Shanahan and Gary Kubiak, his offensive coordinator, do? They say, look, here's a diet of number 30, Terrell Davis. They rammed it with Davis. Then the big plays came later with the passing game. Denver starts at their own 32-yard line with a play-action pick. Elway stands in. Goes right, goes down the side, almost intercepted. Whoa. Greg Myers almost picked it off. 
Good anticipation by Myers coming from that deep, deep safety position because Elway is dangerous when he rolls out. If you're only going to rush four people against John Elway, you had best find a way to keep contain on him because he's going to find McCaffrey here running all the way across the field, trying to make the deep throw on the run. And as the safety moves inside Myers, he thwarts that play. Second down. Elway again. Again, good time. This one sails a little high, but he has a tall receiver. And McCaffrey at 6'5 from Stanford. As the reception, Ashley Ambrose with the tackle, 14 yards on the play, first down Denver. You know, we've got the baseball playoffs in the World Series coming up on NBC. You're going to hear the term high heat a lot. Well, John Elway from 30, 40 yards away, still at 37 years old, can throw a ball that far with a lot of high heat. I mean, that is no reaction time for the defensive back, Ashley Ambrose. He just brings it. And McCaffrey actually says, since Elway hurt his arm, he throws it harder. Again, play action fake. Sets up deep. Pump fake. Goes back over the middle. Pass is complete to Terrell Davis. About seven yards on the play. It'll be second down and three. Steve Tovar with the tackle. And John Elway's two touchdown passes in the first half were completely different. First one, a blown coverage. He throws a little bit of high heat to McCaffrey. He has six points. And then this time, it's just purely a timing pass for six points to Rod Smith. Both those plays set up by excellent running execution by the offensive line and Terrell Davis. Second down and short, about time for Terrell Davis. Takes the pitch, cuts back, leads forward, has the first down. Greg Myers with the tackle. On the subject of John Elway, what did, what did he do last week against the Rams? Well, it was one of those weird halves. I mean, he was 9 of 20 at the half, folks. Look at that, 9 of 20, ended up 16 of 28. He smoked him in the second half. You got to be careful with John Elway. He bruised his shoulder a little bit on a play, came out, looked tentative, came back in. Next two plays were touchdowns. First down, Terrell Davis. Needs four yards to reach the 100-yard rushing mark for the fourth straight week. Stopped by Dan Wilkinson. When we talked with Big Daddy Wilkinson yesterday, you asked him the difference this year, and he said, I'm preparing my body more for the whole season. That's the difference now than when I first came into the league. Well, you know, I was really struck with how mature this young man is now. He came in as a young 20-year-old out of Ohio State. And, you know, he's, he's a man that now worries about responsibilities on his defense, the responsibilities not only of his own, but is also his teammates. This guy will be around a long time making life miserable for offensive linemen. Drell Davis now has his 100 yards for the fourth straight week. Pass goes to Shannon Sharp. He pulls it in. That is his first reception of the ball game. Steve Tovar pulls him down. You see the smile. He's glad to get one. Well, you know, he's finally kind of active. He's been a little hindered. But here's Shannon Sharp just releasing out real quick from that tight end spot. When you get the running game, and Terrell Davis makes that defense not bring six or seven people on a blitz trying to knock John Elway's head off. You see a lot of short, efficient passes from this offense. You're expecting the thunder. You're expecting the quick strike. And they're slowly nicking it again. Third down and one. Terrell Davis. Meeting one, he gets a couple just inside the 30-yard line. First down, Denver. You know, maybe it's Terrell Davis's background. Because, you know, when he came out of Georgia, he wasn't drafted very high. I mean, this guy was a steal. Kijana Carter was the first pick in that draft. And here's a guy that's had a, you know, a 1,000-yard season or two. What has he done? He's very unspectacular, but he's one of the hardest-working running backs that will absolutely bore you on the sideline to watch. He hits in, he gets four. He hits in, he gets three. Rarely do you see that running back, Terrell Davis, get a negative. Timeout to repair umpire's equipment. And equipment timeout to repair the umpire's equipment. Of course, what's wrong with the umpire's equipment might be more information than we need to know. Neil Gerb is the umpire. Do you have your telestrator ready to help us in case we need it on the umpire's equipment? I don't really want to go there. All right. Me. Is it back? Is the telestrator back from ER in our live coverage?
First down at the 30 yard line. Elway, three step drop. His rainbow shot. It is caught, but out of bounds. Ed McCaffrey is out of bounds. Nice touch just laying it in over the shoulder of the defender. Well, McCaffrey is looking for it over one shoulder. He has to adjust his body. And one of the best parts about this play, it's not the pass. It's not really right there the almost catch. It's the sales job McCaffrey does afterwards. Watch the ball. Watch his legs. Ooh. I'll be honest, I think he caught that and should have been marked out of bounds at about the foot, one foot line. I agree with you. Second down and ten. McCaffrey. Pulled down at the 23-yard line by Jimmy Spencer. Let's go back. We have another angle of that McCaffrey almost would be, could be catch. See, they throw the short stuff to McCaffrey. You forget about what the kind of speed this guy's got. He's a 4-5-40 type guy. Now, you got to look at the possession. If he has possession, does he have it there? Now, no. Now he does, and the first thing to hit is the ball in his elbows out of bounds. Third down and three at the 23. Davis pops through right side. One of the things we ought to point out, life is not lived or the or football is not played, nor is it officiated in slow motion as we have a chance to review it. It happens in real speed. And as you said, McCaffrey has good speed, great speed perhaps for a, a, a youngster who stands 6'5". So uh, the officials have to make a call in an entirely different, uh, uh, from a, a different standpoint than what we have a well, chance to you look know, at. Charlie, honestly, the best people in the world are on football fields on Sundays in the NFL. That includes the officials. First down at the 18-yard line. Elway overthrows everybody. He was out of time. Pressure was coming at him. Follow the NFL online at NBCSports.com. This week, Gil Brandt breaks down the blitz, how it was developed through the years. Roger Staubach discusses the decision to retire and how injuries took their toll on his career. And vote in our interactive poll the question which asks, if you were a quarterback, which receiver would be your go-to guy with the game on the line? That's a good question. Well, mine's hurt. Jerry, Jerry Rice. Rice. <laughs> it's all at NBC Sports. JerryRice.com. Okay. <laughs> Second down and ten. Away. Diving grab right at the goal line. Touchdown. Rod Smith, his second touchdown grab of the ball game, his fourth of the year. The Broncos regain the lead with two and a half minutes to go in the third. Well, you know, Rod Smith is doing the, the mile high salute. You know who he ought to salute? He ought to salute Terrell Davis in the backfield. Watch Davis come over here and block. Bang! That gives John Elway the time to throw that pass to Rod Smith. That is timing, that is teamwork. And that is a Pro Bowl All-Pro running back doing the grunt work. A high snap, but pulled down by Tom Roy. Jason Elam adds the point after. Hit smash, Denver 21-17. Jerry. Jerry, there's too much clutter. You have just witnessed John Elway's 260th career touchdown, and one behind Dave Craig. Elam kicks it away. David Dunn on the return. Cuts back. Dunn at 6'3", 220 pounds out of Fresno State. Excellent return, man. Well, they've gotten some good field position, but, you know, this whole situation is because of that man and the pass he threw to Rod Smith. And one other little thing. When a receiver catches the ball and goes to the ground, he can roll in the end zone. He's not in. The ball's not in. The roll put the ball in. He was never touched. And the mile high, <laughs> uh, I don't know if many military he people would appreciate he that being called a salute. He, he needs work. That was wilted lettuce. First down for the 29-yard line. Pass is complete to Pickens. Got it, baby, Jeff. Good job, Jeff. 
his seventh reception of the ball game. Remember what I said, Charlie, about, about calm and composure for this offense. You've got to get in a situation like this before you can really appreciate how high your heart rate gets up. This crowd's going nuts. This team feeds off this mile-high stadium crowd better than any other team in the NFL. And the key for a young offense is to take deep breaths and just keep executing the game plan. We just had a chance to watch the ticker go by to bring you up to date on what's going on today in the NFL. Jonah Carter slides down the line, gets all the way down to the corner, pick up two yards on the play, maybe three, depending on where they mark him out. Home field winning percentage for Denver since 1974, including postseason. Hey, you know, and that, that Pittsburgh stat there in the middle, I've had some good teams lately. But I can tell you, I played there in the late 70s and early 80s. Going into Pittsburgh was a nightmare with Bradshaw and that great defense. But I've never played in a stadium harder to win in than right here at Mile High. Check it down and seven. Blake, two-step drop, throws very quickly. Darnay Scott, flag is down. I gotta hear this one. It'll be a first of foul. He picked him up in the field of play, and for all he knew, Charlie, he was putting him down in the field of play. There's no rule about being aggressive, legally aggressive. I didn't see anything illegal about that. Personal foul, unnecessary rough on the defense, number 39. Slam him to the ground after the play was over. 15 yards, automatic, first down. The key word slamming him to the ground. Here it is. Up, over, down. I think that stinks. I agree with you. You know, I'll tell you, Charlie, if, if they want him to treat him nicely, they should give him all blankies and pillows to lay him down with, but I don't think they're going to do that. Ray Crockett's got every reason in the world to be just a little miffed. First down, 30-yard line of Denver. I'm not sure miffed is the first word that comes to his mind either. Carter, 30-yard line. No gain, second down and 10. Tyrone Braxton brings down Kijana Carter. You know, remember who we're talking about in this defense. Mobley, the second-year linebacker in the middle of the screen, is now playing middle linebacker 51. Normally on the outside, they're moving these young linebackers around. Nice job of hit and fill. All the blockers were taken up. He just had played go get the ball. Pickens and Scott on the far side. Second 10. Unabated to the quarterback. Was there movement? Alfred Williams, you know, there's always a finger pointing. Was there movement by the offensive line? Well, that's his story, and he's sticking to it. Offsides on the defense, number 91. Unabated to the quarterback. Five yards, still second down. You know, Alfred Williams is complaining, saying, you know, the tight end move, the tight end move. But watch right here, watch Willie Anderson. He flinches just a little bit, but it's after Alfred Williams was about three yards into the backfield. So uh, I think Alfred was trying to sell a little chicken there. Cincinnati penalized 88 yards, Denver 66. Three-step drop, flag is down. They want to blow. With this crowd, the play is dead. They gotta get louder whistles. Players, players, players cannot There's hear a the whistle. Start on the offense. The right guard, five yards, second down. All you can do, Charlie, is blow it as loud as you can and as much as you can. Maybe a whistle and a bullhorn when they're here. So Jeff Blake heard the whistle, but Jeff Blake looks up and see those foaming <laughs> mouths and those blearing eyes coming from the defensive side, and they're not saying they're stopping. They didn't hear the whistle. That's the second time in the ballgame that we've had that happen. One second on the game clock, please. One second back on the game clock, one second then remaining in the third quarter. The ball back at the 30-yard line, second down and 10. Then they wind the clock, and that's the end of the quarter. So we have three in the book, one to go. We've got a good one. Broncos are up 21-17.
Dateline Sunday. Pamela Anderson Lee. She says a movie script went too far and she wound up in court. A star's. This telecast is presented by the authority of the National Football League and is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the NFL is prohibited. This is Charlie Jones and Randy Cross start the fourth quarter. Mile High Stadium. Denver up 21-17. Cincinnati at the Broncos 30-yard line. Second down and 10. Late to throw. Here's the screen to Carter. It's a throw printed for the Broncos. It'll lose yardage. Bill Romanowski, Charlie, was all over that screen pass. That's we talked about the veteran leadership somebody like Romanowski brings. A pressure situation, a pressure down. That is what stops this thing because it's very well set up. A loss of three, third down, 13. Bill Romanowski, 6'4, 241 pounds out of Boston College. Darnay Scott goes wide to the far side, Pickens to the near side. They've done a lot of business on third and long. Pickens a crossing pattern, a sliding grab. The 26 yard line, maybe the 25 yard line. Still about five or six yards shy of the first down. That puts Pelfrey in a, in a medium yep. situation for, for Bruce Causa. This is an easy decision. It's, it's fourth and long enough. You try to put these extra points on and get the ball back and score some more later. They'll mark it at the 34 yard line and attempt to 44 yards. He has missed from 56 and hit from 38. Good snap, good hold, and it's down the middle. It is good from 44 yards away. And the Bengals pull within one of Denver. Back in a moment. The NFL on NBC is brought to you by Texaco, a world of energy. By Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Call 1-800-RENT-A-CAR. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. By UPS, the official package delivery company of the NFL. And by Nokia Wireless Phones. Inspire technology with a human touch. 13 minutes and 30 seconds left in the ball game here in Denver. And the Broncos are up only by one. 21-20 over the Cincinnati Bengals. Ron Hebron is the return man. Doug Pelfrey, who just booted the 44-yard field goal, kicks it away. Take it at the 9. Now out to the 20, 25. Leads out to the 30-yard line. Here's the Miller time game summary. 21-20, as I mentioned. Elway is thrown for 152 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. Blake, 177 yards and a touchdown. The unexpected. But without a doubt, it's Cincinnati getting a 100-yard rusher in Kijana Carter. I mean, that has been the difference. That one huge play just sparked the confidence level of this entire football team. Denver at their own 31-yard line, first down. Come has pressure. Dumps it over the middle to Terrell Davis on the run. He pulls it down at the 36-yard line as we move to New York and Greg Gumbel. All right, Charlie, in Buffalo, Indy once led Buffalo 26-0. This is Antoine Smith, 15 yards and a touchdown for his very first touchdown in the NFL. The two-point conversion attempt failed. The Bills have now closed to 26-16 late third quarter, Charlie. There's plenty of time remaining in that ballgame, too. Marks the ball at the 36-yard line, second down and five. Davis jumps to the outside, has the first down. What a fabulous move by Terrell Davis at the end of that run. I mean, Jimmy Spencer fills up to hit Terrell Davis. Remember, we talked about him being consistent, being steady. And once in a while, he can give you that sharp move and make you miss. That is a Nolan Ryan no-hitter whiff there. In the first game against Kansas City, Davis rushed for 101 yards. Second game, Seattle, 107. St. Louis, 103. 114 yards thus far in this ball game. Four consecutive 100-yard games. This one a little low and incomplete. 
You know, more importantly, too, from the way John Elway's running back, Terrell Davis, runs the ball is how much he runs the ball. He averages consistently in the four and a half to five yards a carry. I mean, he came into this game averaging 4.6 yards a carry. That's like you give it to him on first down, you're looking at second and six or second and five. That's a dream for Elway and Shanahan. Check out the ticker, see what's going on in the NFL today. What's going on in Mile High Stadium? The Denver Broncos have their hands full with the Cincinnati Bengals. Christian Davis cuts back over the middle near the 50 yard line. They'll spot at the 49 yard line. It'll be third down, still around three yards to go, maybe four yards to go for the first down. Rico McDonald makes the tackle for the Cincinnati Bengals. Good job up front by Habib and Zimmerman over there on that right side. A quick toss to Davis. Good blocking up front opens that thing up. At first, it doesn't look like much. But you got a block down by Sharp, a block out by Zimmerman, and just a quick five yards. Third down, almost four yards to go for the first down. Timeout, Denver. Stops the clock, 11.22. Time remaining in the game. Back in a moment. One night. Ready camera two. Unfolding before your eyes. In three. Anything can happen. Two. One. Anything. Oh my god. ER season premiere live NBC Thursday. That's going to be a lot of fun to watch that live. Your, aunt, your dad was a doctor, and, and, uh, was a doctor, was an actor, and he acted as a doctor at times. But uh, he played one on television. So. I don't care, they still can't have my telescope. <laughs> for Terrell Davis. Great job up front by the offensive line. Quick explosion and a mile high salute. Extra point is good. 28 20, the Denver Broncos. Davis has now rushed for 173 yards. Hey, wait, where'd you get the slick tailgate go off your table? I made it, Tom. Hi. See you next Sunday at the special time of 12 30 Eastern. Davis scoring from 50 yards out, 24 carries, 173 yards rushing in the ball game. You know, in the past, everybody used to talk about his migraines. Now it's not how the migraines he has, it's the ones he's causing defenders and defensive coordinators like Dick LeBeau. David Dunn at the five yard line on the return to the 20. Hit at the 20, leads forward to about the 22 yard line as we go back to the touchdown. Interesting play in that they let the linebacker Andre Collins go outside. Scoop in, block out, block down, watch the hole that develops, and then watch Greg Myers, 31, come up and say, I got him. No, I don't. There he goes. Gets a nice block from Ed McCaffrey in the defensive backfield. And he has 173 yards, his career high 194 last year against Baltimore. And a look at Greg Myers, who missed the tackle. First down at the 22-yard line. Jamie Carter maybe a yard. Darian Gordon moves up and makes the tackle. Remember, I keep talking about the calm and the composure. There's very few places where momentum can be a physical thing. This crowd gets so loud and feeds off this defense when it plays well that when a John Mobley makes a big play and the house goes nuts, you can physically on the field as an offense going against him. You can feel. The energy being drawn into this defense. You got to take a deep breath and execute. Second down and nine. Pressure coming. Blake rolls, pump fakes, keeps up the sideline, out of bounds. Well, that wasn't any Joe average that Jeff Blake made miss. That was John Mobley coming with a full head of speed steam. Who's supposed to pick him up? Jeff Blake. 
<laughs> he did. Well, he had five guys blocking five guys. He's only got so many blockers up front. Mobley comes real late from the outside, top of the screen. You see he's completely clean. There's no one on that side of the ball to block him. You know, and honestly, sometimes in offensive game plans, quarterbacks say, if he comes, he's mine. He was his, and he missed it. Third down and seven. Three wide receivers, two backs. Both backs in the block. Here comes more pressure. Pass is complete. Spinning and leaning forward. David Dunn trying to stretch out for the first down. It will be ever so close. I tell you, if this spot is for a first down, and it is, our referee Mike Carey signals first down, take a picture of Jeff Blake, because right now he's the picture of that calm and that composure. They are blitzing him. They bring Romanowski inside. They bring Aldridge in his face. He made Mobley miss before. He made Aldridge miss this time. And then his receiver, Dunn, gets him the first down. Cincinnati at their own 33-yard line. Just over nine minutes time remaining in the game. Play action fake. Deep down the sideline. Tip and it is incomplete. James Hunden from Portland State. The intended receiver. Say this Denver defense is attacking Cincinnati right now. They're coming after Blake. And right now the officials are letting a little of this bumping, a little of the grinding and hitting going on without throwing flags. That was just belly to belly, good D and O. DNO, defense and offense. Very good. I thought I'd just throw that in. I got that from <laughs> ER. The producer of ER called me and wanted me to help you in our live coverage. <laughs> Second down and 10, 33 yard line. ER this week on NBC will be live. This will be fun to watch. Rainbow Deep has his man there, and oh, it's dropped. Darnay Scott. Oh, no. Scott from San Diego State. Whoa. You get a flag right in that defensive holding part of the field. If that was seven or maybe eight. Oh. Holding on the defense, number 53, five yard penalty, automatic. First down. On Romanowski. Nevertheless, here's the drop. Working out of the slot, coming in. Going long, open. You know what? He saw that go all the way through his hands. Mm -hmm. John Copeland, the big defensive lineman, saying, I could have caught that. <laughs> First down, Cincinnati. 8.56 time remaining. Corey Dillon. Dillon a stutter step down the sideline. Bruce Cossett said he wanted to see this big youngster run, and he can run. But Corey Dillon is 230 pounds. Corey Dillon, he's giving you that stutter step. If you hesitate before you hit him, you're going to bounce off. Because you're going to see a stutter. You're going to see a bounce off of the leg. Now here's a stutter. Here's another bounce off, trying to arm tackle. Don't be fooled by this man being a halfback. He is strong, and you do not arm tackle either one of these Bengals halfbacks. He picks up 28 yards on the play. We have a timeout on the field. Trainers have moved out. Clock is stopped with 8.48. Time remaining in the ballgame. You see what this calm and this confidence has done for Bruce Coslett and Jeff Blake's offense? It has taken this mile-high crowd that was so loud, going so crazy for a while. It's quieted them down. It's made the defense step back. Bruce Coslett's done a great play, a, call, a great job of calling plays, but more importantly, Jeff Blake has kept his cool and he's executed around the plays. The ball at the Denver 34 yard line. First down, Cincinnati. Eric Bienemy might have a yard, might not have a yard. NBC Premier Week starts tomorrow. Kicking off five nights of all-new must-see comedy, featuring the season premieres of Suddenly Susan, Fired Up, and Caroline, plus The Naked Truth and Dateline. Don't miss a minute. NBC at Premier Week. It starts tomorrow. I never thought it would get here. I'm ready for some good television. That's the great thing about football. We don't have reruns. <laughs> Give me the real thing. Second down and two.
Ryan Mill, the fullback in motion. We've got flags everywhere. Brills, the center, was like the uh, the loneliest man in the city of Denver right there. Everybody else is backing up for a play. He never moved the ball. Never moved a muscle, much less the ball. False start on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Main second down. See, I like that they did not blame the center. They blamed the other <laughs> ten guys that moved. Watch. Everybody's moving. <laughs> Look at, look at, look at Brills. No, you, <laughs> look at Brills. <laughs> you played some center. How does that happen? That's pretty easy. You just get the wrong snap count and you don't move. Go on first down. He said, what? <laughs> hey, my theory was always, I got the ball. You're all wrong. <laughs> it's my ball if you want to continue playing. That's right. You're going to believe these guys behind me or your lying eyes. Second down and 15 at the 39. Pressure from the backside, steps away from it. Runs for the corner, brought down. John Mobley gets it. Third time he's been sacked in the ball game. Well, you remember, Mobley missed Blake earlier, and it's kind of like the uh, dodge me once, that's okay, you're pretty good. Dodge me twice, fat chance. Nice job of bull rushing and stunning up front by the Denver defense, but he keeps them in the crosshairs the entire time. There's no diving and lunging. That's all straight defensive football for John Mobley out of Cook, Cootstown, Pennsylvania. Third down and 18. Broncos show a three-man rush. Seven in the secondary, eight in the secondary. Incomplete flag is down. James Hunden, the intended receiver. Play clock ran Delay out. on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Third down. The third down and 23. And if Bruce Cosley gets that same three-man front again, you, you got to think he's not going to try to dink it off into a short zone like that. There's plenty of time left here if he can stop the Denver run. He has got to get his team in scoring position, scoring including the field goal. Cincinnati will take the timeout. That is their last timeout of the ball game. They take it with 6.36 left to go. Don't go away. We'll be back in a moment. Just over six and a half minutes remaining. Denver up 28-20. Cincinnati out of timeouts. Broncos have two. It'll be third down and 23. In reality, how much yardage does Cincinnati want here? About 15 yards puts him in field goal range of Pelfrey. They got no timeouts. You've got to give it a shot. Blake Rose right sets. He scored for the whole ball of wax. And he comes up empty. He had an opening to run. He could almost pick up the first down. I'm surprised with that. I, I'm very, very surprised they were throwing all the way down in the end zone. I mean, you got plenty of time left here. Bruce Coslett's defense, granted, has had a double of a time stopping Terrell Davis. But look at that opening that he has right there. Well, those openings tend to close pretty quick <laughs> when the defenders figure out he's running. That actually goes through the arm of Crockett and bounces right off the face of Darnay Scott. The Denver trainer out on the field. Mike Lodish from UCLA coming to the sideline. Now you're looking at a must situation. Hey, Lodish is kind of pleading his case there, saying, it wasn't me, I swear, it wasn't me. Lee Johnson now will okay. kick. Fourth down and 23. Darian Gordon, the return man for Denver. Whoa, way over his head. Picks it up at the 20. He gets the kick airborne. Takes a bit of a Cincinnati roll. A remarkable effort. It will go for about two and a half yards, maybe three yards on the kick. Or you want to argue at any time as to what, if whether or not some kickers, especially punters or athletes, challenge a guy like Lee Johnson with this kind of an air ball. 
You got air balls that miss the net. This is an air ball that almost missed the field. Greg Truitt is the long snapper. And this was truly a long snap. And that is giving it up by Johnson, too, because he's out of the protection zone. He knows as soon as he goes to kick that thing, he's going to get slammed. As soon as the ball hits the ground, the kicker loses all protection. There's a snapper through it right there. It's I've done that before. It is not hard for that ball to get away from. Him. I snapped on a field goal once and lost 35 yards. <laughs> Denver first down at their own 45 yard line. Well way to Rod Smith. Has it to the 50. You know, much like we talk about boxers, when they get a, a, an opponent in a bad situation, they get him in trouble, they've got to learn to finish people off. You're seeing right now is this Denver D offense knows they've got the Cincinnati Bengals in that type of position. The Bengals are hurt, the Bengals are reeling, and right now Elway and Shanahan are going to try to give them a blow that'll finish them off. Denver leading 28 to 20. Five and a half minutes time remaining in the ball game. Davis jumps to the outside. The race is on. A little stutter step, and then he is caught and taken out of bounds by Greg Meyer. And that's now a career high for Terrell Davis. That's a 34-yard run. And that is just Terrell Davis, too, reading the blocking up front. His offensive line, especially that left side of Mark Slareth and Tony Jones collapses things, and that gives Terrell Davis 25 carries for 207 yards. First down at the Cincinnati 15-yard line. Camphrey slides outside. Davis gets the hand over again. Let's go back to the blocking that opened the hole for Terrell Davis. Well, watch the left side. You got Jones and Schloreth collapse things this way, the cut back, and the see you later bye by Terrell Davis. The collapse. Rod Smith has a little bit of a block on Jimmy Spencer, but that's just good blocking up front and a quick burst by Terrell Davis. Second down and seven at the 12, and as you mentioned, a career high 211 yards rushing. So four games, 100 plus, 100 plus, 100 plus, 200 plus. Elway waits, throws it slow, incomplete. He was going to Rod Smith, who has scored two touchdowns. Next Sunday, exciting NFL action will continue, beginning at a special time, 12:30 Eastern time, following our Ryder Cup coverage with the NFL on NBC. A full slate of regional action comes your way as Jacksonville battles Washington. The Broncos take on Atlanta. Seattle faces Kansas City. The Jets play the Bengals in regional action. So check the local listings for the game in your area next Sunday on NBC. I've got the Broncos at Atlanta, and you will be where? I'll be in San Diego with the Ravens and the Chargers. But Charlie, Terrell Davis is the first running back in Broncos history to rush for over 200 yards. Whoa. And again. Third down in seven. And he adds to that total. Hey, there's people you see do great things that you say, well, gee, he's great, and it happens all the time, and that's nice. Enough nice things can't happen to a young man like Terrell Davis. Ladies and gentlemen, you want this guy to be your son. He is so nice. And to have these kind of things happen to him is just wonderful, and that's because he's got a quarterback in L.A. that scares people, and they worry about the pass. He's got a coach like Shanahan that calls the plays and a very good offensive line. Fourth down and two. Timeout. Oh, well, he was out of time. Whoa, he looked up and he was looking at an almost zero on the play clock. Back in a moment. Greg Truitt, who was the long snapper for the Cincinnati Bengals, and Lee Johnson, the punter, who salvaged the punt after it way over his head and got only three yards on it, set up in reality this drive. John Elway was taking, was looking at the play clock, trying to bark uh, and make a pull off sides for the first down. That didn't work, so a 25-yard field goal is added by Jason Elam. And that will put the game in reality out of sight for the Denver Broncos. They go up 31 to 20. 
with 326 left to go. Now, a lot of things can happen in 326. So it's not a definitive 4 and 0 record, but it's very close. Well, you've got a very quick strike offense. You've seen the, the great plays this offense can do for the Bengals, but you know, the Denver defense has looked awful strong at times too. So Bruce Coslett's team is is thinking nothing but huge chunks offensively. Jeff Blake needs at least two or three more of those big plays with this much time. It's still three and a half minutes to go. But remember, they used their last timeout. Yes. So there's no timeouts. Quick note, too, about Terrell Davis was 27 carries, 215 yards. Number two in the league so far for a daily rush. Eddie George, week one, at 216 yards against Oakland. Jason Elam will kick it away. David Dunn on the far side. Corey Dillon on the near side of the return man. <laughs> Dunn will field it at the one yard line. Out to the 15, cuts back at the 20. Nice return across the 30, out to around the 32 yard line. Guess what? A flag around the 23. In that Seattle San Diego game, Seesaw battle. Seattle has taken the lead 20 to 19 in the fourth quarter. During the return, holding on the return team number 72. 10 yards, first down. Holding on Scott Brumfield, and not a very good way to start your comeback drive. Hey, you're going to be looking at a three man rush and all kinds of coverage. You talk about that Seattle San Diego game. You know, is somebody going to remind Warren Moon he's 40 years old and isn't supposed to be doing these things? Because he threw that touchdown pass to Joey Galloway and, and he'll put be, him ahead. He'll be 41 in November, but his arm doesn't know it. <laughs> I think he's having the time of his life. I saw him last week, and he would, he is. He's throwing like he did 20 years ago. Cincinnati down by 11 points. Take a look at the ticker. That'll bring you up to date on all the other scores. Bingo starting from their own 12 yard line, first down. Three wide receivers, split back. Trying to dump it off in the middle. It is tipped and it is caught, and they are going to rule it a reception. Clock continues to move. Cincinnati is out of timeout. 18 yard line, it goes for six, second down and four. That was a good job of concentration by Dylan because Matunavasa actually got his hand on that. This one is tipped again. Neil Smith. That will stop the clock. Be third look at, down look at Neil Smith. In defense, fun when you're up by eight with about two and a half minutes to go, and they got to throw the ball. More fun when you're up by 11. Well, I tell you what, it's a lot more fun when you're in those blue and orange jerseys than when you're in those white ones. I've been in those white ones a lot. <laughs> We're in this kind of a place. It's loud, and those guys in front of you are just, they're frothing. They are so excited because they know they can just draw a bead on your quarterback. Denver shows a five-man rush. Now they show six men. Five come. It is dropped. Pickens, a five-man rush, out of time. It was low to Pickens, and it's incomplete. It will be fourth down and four. Cincinnati has no option. They have to go for it here. 2.45, time remaining. They trail by 11, 31 to 20. And if you don't, you don't get a first down here, obviously you're going to lose the game, but also obviously you're going to give up another touchdown. Target far side should be the first down. Darnay Scott hangs on to this one. He dropped one earlier in the ball game when he was wide open on a deep pattern. 29 yard line first down. I don't care how tall Jeff Blake isn't. This guy can swell up with the best of them. When he has to do it, he can bring it. Good protection all the time in the world. Now he is out. He'll scramble for it. And he goes into the slide to the 36 yard line. Clock continues moving. Very important they get it off here in the next eight seconds before the two minute warning. They won't do it. Two minute warning will be given to both benches and we'll be back 
with the Broncos leading 31 to 20. We have two minutes left here at Mile High Stadium. Denver is up by 11, 31 to 20, and time permitting at the conclusion of our game. We will switch you to the Kingdom in Seattle for the conclusion of the San Diego Seattle Seahawks ball game. Seattle is leading in that one by a score of 20 to 19. Second down. Flag is down. Pass is complete. Caught near the line of scrimmage, but a flag came flying immediately. That's going to be holding against the uh, Cincinnati Bengals late. We believe on Rod Jones, the left tackle, number 60. A little bit of a takedown. He'll take the penalty. Holding on the offense, number 60. Ten-yard penalty remains second down. And this is a free-for-all. Remember, you don't want to let him get your quarterback. Tanavasa is going to have a chance <laughs> of getting him. And, you know, he never tackled him. That was not a takedown. That was just sort of a woe. Put his arm around him, a woe. Well, that was a woe 12th penalty against, for, against the Bengals for 123 yards. No flag. Scream. Pass is complete to Corey Dillon. And Dillon gets out of bounds. That'll stop the clock at the 36-yard line. It'll be third down and about three yards to go for the first down. Bill Romanowski and Neil Smith taking him out of bounds. The highlight for Cincinnati, Kajana Carter rushing for more than 100 yards. Yeah, but the low light on the other hand is Terrell Davis getting 215 yards mm -hmm. on a day that John Elway doesn't even breathe on 200 yards passing. Elway is thrown for only 162 yards in the ballgame. Deep over the middle. That's going to be passing. That was early. You got it. There it is. There it comes I'm late. so glad that somebody finally threw a fly. Darde Scott, and he was nailed by Tyrone Braxton way before the ball got there. Pass interference on the defense, number 34. Spot foul, automatic. <laughs> First down. The far side receiver right here. Keep an eye on Scott. You know, life and football at times are timing. You want to go up, you want to time your pass, you want to time your attack, and the timing, <laughs> the attack of Mr. Uh, Braxton was a little bit off. He got there early for his appointment. Denver 45 yard line first down 139 time remaining Cincinnati no timeout. Screen knocked down. Trying to throw a little middle screen to Eric Bieniemy and it was knocked away by Michael Dean Perry. Knocked away was darn near squished. <laughs> he put that thing right. You know that's actually not a bad play sometimes you throw it right at a defensive lineman odds are he's not going to catch it. Watch this. Defensive linemen are a threat to pop the ball a lot quicker than they're going to catch the ball. But he's got his catcher, he's got his wide receiver's gloves on. Well, yeah, yeah, you know he'd give the mile high salute if he scored, but I wouldn't start practicing that salute too early. <laughs> Second down and ten. Four man run. Here is Dillon. Stretches out, clock is moving. 126 and counting. Tim McKayer with the tackle. Cincinnati taking way too much time. They're, they're losing an extra 10 seconds on the set of here. Hit sack ball is free. It is scooped up by Alfred Williams. Jeff Blake is still on the ground, and Alfred Williams is in the end zone. Alfred Williams scores a touchdown against the team that 1991 made him their top pick. He did it because he wasn't blocked. Or Reneal Smith wasn't blocked. He came free on Bruce Coslett's quarterback, Jeff Blake. It was a clean hit. It was a legal hit. But it was a nasty hit. 
Neil Smith is going to come from the right side of your screen without ever breaking stride. Whoa. I mean, he has launched himself into Jeff Blake. That ball comes loose, and Alfred Williams has got a free run to the end zone. And yeah, yeah, the mile high salute. Well, here's the Alfred leap. <laughs> Not yep. much for the landing, but he gets good style points on the jump. <laughs> Alfred needs work. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jamie Brown was missing from the extra point team. He's a late arrival. Still with plenty of time for the extra point. It is good. Alfred Williams, 49 yards, his first NFL touchdown. Comes Neil Smith, absolutely free. Willie Anderson, the right tackle, never lays a finger on him. He brutalizes Jeff Blake. The ball comes free. Nothing left but the jump. Look at that. I mean, nobody moves. I never heard a whistle. Mike Carey, the referee, never waved his arms, but this offensive line stopped. And Williams is watching his dive on the jumbo trot of the big screen. <laughs> and hang on to that football. That's a trophy. Got to learn the roll part of that dive. 57 seconds. Time remaining in the ball game. He a script type kick right up the middle. Somebody better get they it. Better get it in a hurry. James Hunden recovered it. We said we might take you to the conclusion of the San Diego Seattle game. Well, we're for sure now we're going to take you not there. We're going to go to the other the other end of the country, we're going to Buffalo for the Indianapolis Buffalo game in Buffalo. And 29-23, the Baltimore Colts are leading the Buffalo Bills. We'll go to the conclusion of that one after now, this one's over. Is that the same game that was 26-0 Colts? Yes. Yes. Unbelievable. Yeah. Another great. Rich Stadium comeback so far <laughs> attempt by the Bills. On the ground is Corey Dillon. Dillon to the 40. Dillon fights his way across the 45 out to the 47 yard line. 21 yards on the play and let's look at the total rushing yardage of Corey Dillon. He didn't see that much action earlier with three carries 54 yards. He has been impressive. Yeah, the running game in general. Kajana Carter obviously getting over 100 yards has been impressive. But I tell you, it's just the offensive line at this point for the Bengals is a lot of things. But one thing it is the most is it's just not good enough. Jeff Blake, who was nailed by Neil Smith, is back, of course, in the ball game. He hands off to Corey Dillon again. And that is final. It is Denver 38, Cincinnati 20 in reality. A much closer game than that. Kijana Carter over 100 yards rushing. Drell Davis over 200 yards rushing for the Denver Broncos. Denver's record, they are now 4-0. New England is also 4-0. Tampa Bay hosts Miami tonight. They are 3-0. Jacksonville, they are 2-0. So that wraps up the action here at Mile High Stadium. Well, we've got another change. We're going to go to Seattle. Let's let's join Mike Green and James Lofton in the King Dome in Seattle. Want to welcome those who just watched the Broncos defeat the Cincinnati Bengals to remain undefeated.